Hi everybody, I'm Mr Grimmett, Director of Music and Percussion Teacher at East Doncaster Secondary College. If your child chooses to, to do percussion, they will learn a lot of these instruments along here. In fact, probably along the way, all of these instruments along here. Um, here in front of me are what we call the tuned percussion instruments. These are those uh, instruments that are um, set out like a piano, so the notes are very much the same. Um, and they play kind of tunes, they play melodies, so we can play stuff like that. Um, and uh, over here we have the untuned, so we have, oh, I should say, we've got the glockenspiel, the xylophone and the vibraphone, all very similar, uh, all tuned uh, percussion instruments. Over here we have the untuned percussion instruments, and these are uh, instruments that don't have a defined pitch. So these ones do over here, the tuned ones, but these ones we can't play melodies on. So we've got an array of things like cowbells, uh, weird and wonderful things like this one, and your traditional ones like the tambourine and the kibasa. Uh, as well as the bass drum, of course, and the snare drum. Uh, triangle, tone blocks, uh, all what we call untuned percussion instruments. So yes, your child will learn all of these and of course the drum kit over here uh, and the timpanis down the end, the big timpanis. So learning percussion is an ideal choice for those that are currently learning piano uh, and would like to uh, take on an instrument uh, that they can play in an ensemble with other people. Uh, if, if they're keeping their piano as their main instrument, percussion will allow them to um, pick up the instruments quite quickly because the tuned percussion instruments are the same notes as the piano. Uh, and their rhythm work that they've already done will, will help them out with the untuned percussion instruments, of course. Um, all they need to do is really learn the technique of the sticking uh, and then uh, they uh, uh, take on the percussion quite quickly and they are able to um, uh, be in an ensemble with other kids. Students don't need to buy all of this equipment. There's few, lots of thousands of dollars of, of, of equipment here, but we do like them and recommend them to have what we call a kit that has a very small um, glockenspiel in it, a small uh, snare drum, a practice pad uh, that they can practice on without making too much noise at home. Uh, and um, a stick bag with um, the mallets and the sticks in it. Thanks everybody, and remember, no matter what instrument you pick, it's just the importance of getting everybody involved and playing together as a group. See you later.